Hi guys, um, I've got a quick video here, um, it's just to um, let you know I'm still here really more than anything. Um, I've been quite busy at the moment, I've got that many different projects on and I haven't had time to post anything recently. So I've got a little quick video here I just want to show you. Um, I've been into electronics from, since the age of about six years old. Um, me and my dad we used to go out through country walks and things and we used to um, I'd be walking down a path and I'd find part of an old radio or part of an old television in the bushes and I'd pull parts off it and I'd bring it home and um, that's how it all re really started. Now uh, my dad, he was um, he was very good with wood and he noticed I'd got this obsession um, with electronics and he made me this little workbench and um, I've still got it. People say I'm a hoarder because I don't throw anything away but I don't think I'm a hoarder. I just think I'm a collector. So this is where it all started. Obviously the vice wasn't on it. That was added to the later date, probably five or six years later. Um, now to give you an idea what size this little workbench is, I'm going to stand um, a fluke digital multimeter next to it. There we go, that's a Fluke 83 digital multimeter. So you can see the workbench itself is only about 14 inches high. And that's where I started with my obsession with electronics. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you've probably never seen before, especially the younger generation. Um, I've always been a collector. I've collected many, many things over the years. Um, this is actually over, over 40 years old now. As you can see, I don't throw anything away. I've collected many electronic things, and I'm going to show you a couple of different um, light bulbs that you've probably never seen before. Right, so we'll start off with this. Um, I don't have a date on this. I've had it for more than 30, 35 years. Um, it's probably 1960s. It's a Philips 1000 watt light bulb with giant Edison screw. Um, to give you an idea how big it is, here is an ordinary 60 watt lamp and I'll put that there next to the 1000 watt light bulb. That gives you an idea how big it is. So that, that's the first thing I've got to show you. I'll stop the camera and move on to the next thing. Right, again from Philips, here's another product. Um, I've had these for getting on for um, 40 years now, so these are quite old. Um, the actually Philips special light bulbs. Now these were actually invented um, before the dimmer switch and it allowed you to control the brightness of the bulb itself. So although it looks like an ordinary Edison screw light bulb, if you turn it around and look at the base, you'll see it actually has three contacts on, two in the middle, one out there, one around the outside. Um, it comes in different sizes, you've got a bigger one, um, a smaller one, and what you do is the idea was it plugged into the special adapter and it's a switchable bulb it gives you 60, 100 or 160 right so here we go here's the bulb screwed into the adapter it looks like an ordinary adapter but you'll notice on the side there's um, a switch that turns so I've set up a little this is um, a 60, 100 or 160 I've set up a little demonstration we'll plug it into here So that's on. Let's get the camera in the other hand. And the switch on the side there also turns it on and off. So that's 60 watts, and then if you click it again, that's 100 watts. And if you click it again, that takes it to 160 watts. So that's a that's probably 1960s. Um, that was actually made before the dimmer switch was invented. 60, 100, 160. So that's, um, that's probably something that you've never seen before. Well, especially the uh, younger generation on the internet probably never seen it before. I'll move on to the next thing. Right, here's the next thing from my light bulb collection. Um, two bulbs here, probably again 1960s. I don't know much about them. They might have been used in churches 
funeral parlours um, this one's actually called a star neon lamp and this one is a neon night light sacred heart so it might have been even been in, using a child's bedroom nursery um, I'll just get it out of the packet and there it is it's um, it's a neon glow gas glow bulb with a heart inside there's the other one they call that star as you can see same thing so I'm going to plug this in switch it on and there we go off take that out and put the the one that says the sacred heart in turn it right right around so you can see it lit up there you go Right, a couple more bulbs here. Um, these, I think these are very early ones. The writing on the packet here tends to suggest they're from the wartime um, because there's a war. There's, um, it says in view of the paper shortage, this wrapper should not be thrown away or destroyed. That's an early Mazda lamp. Um, this one here is a very interesting one, a Robertson electric lamp. This is actually a coiled carbon filament. Now you might see these on eBay today, but they're actually reproductions. This is a genuine one. And if you look inside, instead of having a an ordinary tungsten filament, that's made of coiled carbon. So I'll put that on and you can see that one lit up. case you can't see it very well you might see when it goes off you turn it on and off quick you'll see it better right this is the last thing I'm going to show you these um, are photo Philips photo flux bulbs the, um, the flashlights what was used in um, camera flash that's a brand new box of 10 um, you've probably seen them before what you might not have seen is this big one here which is made for commercial use um, it could be in um, studios and things um, it says on the packet there 3 to 30 volts on there activates it um, and if you look inside well it's difficult to see but it's actually full of magnesium so that will make when you put 3 to 30 volts on there that will make one hell of a flash and that's about the size of an ordinary 60 watt light bulb so uh, there you go guys I've shown you perhaps a few things you've never seen before um, if you want to um, keep subscribing I will be making some more technical videos um, but I've just got uh, that many projects on at the moment um, keep subscribing keep watching I've got some more interesting things coming up okay bye for now